Okay, side quest. The MSV Corsica on Neath. <laughs> um, there's this random planet that you can go to, and uh, it's an N7 mission, so it's kind of like part of a story, mini storyline. You go here, there's like a distress signal, you run to the far side of it, there's there's like a bunch of ammo and shit. Um, or no, like platinum hidden all over the place, so it's worth picking that up. Uh, the planet Neath is uh, in the Eagle Nebula cluster on the in the Amun system, A-M-U-N. Um, I want... I wonder if you could do this quest without having it be, like, emailed to you, because I'm pretty sure this one was emailed to me. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> um, anyway, so you run to the far end, you pick up all the scrap shit and all the platinum laying everywhere, and then you turn off this distress beacon and thousands of robots get activated. And just nonstop waves of robots come at you. And... The key word there is non-stop, because you can literally just kill them for hours. And every single one of them, they, like, they're pretty easy to kill, but there's a ton of them, so you can't just like run forward. Mm -hmm. And every single one of them drops one of those little ammo packs, so you can't just kill them for hours if you were just bored. Mm -hmm. But there's no like experience for each one that you kill, unlike most RPGs, mm -hmm. so there's no benefit to just killing dudes for hours. Even though it'd be cool if there was, yeah. like if it was a little glitch, like every dude you killed got you 15 experience. So, uh, I turned off the distress beacon, and now there's going to be a ton of dudes. So you're running back to your ship. I am running back to my ship. There is going to be one of the huge mechs at the end of the level. Um, other than that. There's just a bunch of these dudes that do not take cover. Like, the, the nice thing about the mechs is that they're pretty weak and they don't take cover and they're really stupid, so they just walk right at you. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of them. And if you don't kill them fast enough, like if you miss a couple of shots in a row and you have to move from cover to cover, mm -hmm. you're fucked because they're right there. Um, so this is actually kind of difficult. It's difficult if you don't know that the enemies are going to stop at some point mm -hmm. because there will not be a break in the action for uh, Miranda, who's already dead, to automatically revive. And there will not be a break uh, for like a checkpoint or anything like that. So you have to know that you just... The objective here is just to get to your ship and press A, standing close to it. Mm -hmm. Not... Because there might be other points in the game, but this is the only one that I can think of off the top of my head where you where it's just infinitely respawning enemies mm -hmm. so yeah about that um, anyway so getting close to uh, the end of it the, there's the big YMIR mech right in front of me be sure to be using a, uh, Miranda I almost said Amanda Miranda's overload whenever you get a chance to take down his shields. Um, also, because this dude is so strong, it's probably beneficial to uh, swap between the different kinds of ammo to make sure that every shot you do is doing the absolute most damage you possibly can. And at this close of range, the shotgun isn't too bad of a choice either. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to be one of the funnier... Uh YouTube translated ones. Why? Because you like started out by saying the NR7 of North, oh. like just shit that is not words in not, the English language. Not real words. Yeah. Just, mm. <laughs> so um, why? Why? So apparently, there is not. It is not infinitely responding, but it sure as shit feels like it. I'm looking on Wikia, and. Apparently there are 180 Loki mechs, which are the tiny dudes. Um, wow. But I... Do, you don't have that much patience? I did not have that much patience before, and uh, you can just run to the end. So what up. would you miss out if you skipped this one? 
if you skip this mission, mm -hmm. a little bit of extra experience, a little uh, 7,500 credits that you can find, and 2,000 platinum on the ground. <laughs> okay. According to Wikia. Which is the uh, definitive answer. Right. <laughs> well, it's as close of an answer as I'm going to get. It's as good of an answer as I'm going to get compared to any other website, really. <laughs>